I did have another question for both of you guys. Uh, just like, as far as when you're not, I, I know you, you touched on this a little bit when you're at home, you're mm -hmm. practicing a whole bunch, but you know, are there other things that you have done? Like I know Spencer, you have uh, a little history of like uh, either being drum tech or working with oh, other right. bands, things like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know myself, I've done some other things. Tim as well. I don't know if, you know, there's other things that you do. So let's just kind of talk about that. Like, you know, what other things have you done just a brief with history. drumming, but not necessarily, yeah. Basically, how'd you, how'd you get to being the drummer at State today? I played in a band called Hidden in Plain View for a while, Drive Through Records. And, yeah. you know, we were family then too, which is, which is pretty awesome. It is cool. Um, after that, I drum teched for an Epitaph Records tour. Um, then I played in a band called Charlotte Sometimes, uh, and then after Charlotte Sometimes, I drum teched for uh, my best friend Nate, who is also a Vader artist, um, and he plays drums in Cobra Starship. Um, oh, I, I drum teched for Less Than Jake as well, um, and it's just, for me it was more uh, just being out there and meeting people and like staying relevant, you know? Mm. And it's it can be really hard to not be playing. I could imagine. You know, and be like, man. But it's you still meet people and and you're and it's cool. Because you're just out out doing that. Were you able to take influences from being around those other drummers even if the music wasn't necessarily yeah, what totally, you're playing now? Totally. And it was like and it was cool because I just got to um, just gain knowledge from it, you know, because it's like uh, just just seeing like different tricks people have or tuning or like hey I like my stuff like this and I'm like oh it's kind of cool like I'll, I want to try that yeah and um, just staying relevant to this whole uh, industry or scene. yeah I guess I don't want to say scene but like the whole drumming community that was really important gotcha. um, and then I'm still I still drum tech for Cobra Starship uh, and I also play percussion with them now. And we're doing a tour after this, but then it saves the day full time. Very good. Yeah, that's awesome. It's good. Uh, yeah. Tim, were you in other bands before Fireworks? Uh, you know, was it um, just that it, was it? It's, it's kind started. of funny. I, I came from like hardcore bands and like terrible punk rock bands and that kind of stuff. And uh, the way I got into Fireworks is they had already kind of started playing as a band called Bears. Great name. Uh, and I would hang out with them. And they'd hear me tapping on tables. They'd never heard me play. And they're like, you know, you should play with us sometimes. because our drummer quit. I'm like, okay, I guess. And I don't know. I think I'd like to think that I've progressed a lot since then. And just, I don't know. I don't do a lot in between because we're not home very much. <clears throat> we're still growing as a band, and in our off time, we spend like five, six days a week practicing, trying to, you know, perfect our craft as a band, as a whole, as a unit. And um, yeah, so I find myself basically doing fireworks full time, even when we're not on the road. We're always writing. We're always practicing. We're always, you know getting our thing done. Yeah. And I, I want to note again, Aaron, the drummer of Hello Goodbye, who can't be with us right now because he's down on stage setting up. You know, he's uh, he's somebody, at least for me, I've seen, uh, you know, it's cool. He plays like within Hello Goodbye. They kind of have to play a whole bunch of different styles. And it's really fun to kind of watch him play. He's a very loose drummer. But, uh, you know, he's got cool, kind of what you were saying, Spencer, like cool techniques or approaches to things, maybe a different, a little different than what I would do or what we would do. And yeah. I, I can see myself after this tour, not just with him, but with all you guys. And Tim, we've toured before <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. You know, you just, you, you do pick up little things. Yeah. Uh, whether it's the way that you would play a fill versus the way that I would play a fill, like we were talking yeah. about earlier, <laughs> um, you know, or, you know, just different things, maybe a warm up thing or the way they set up something. And it's really cool to be around drummers and, and to see that kind of happen. And, you know, on this tour especially, we're all friends. Yeah. And nobody's like, there's no, you know, competition or anything. Oh, no, no. I would love to add that it's awesome to be on a tour where everybody's stoked about playing drums. Like, yes. we are all drum dorks, yeah, you know? It's and pretty like, awesome. You know, I've been out with guys that just don't, don't even care that they're playing, you know? They're just doing it because it's something to do. But, like, every day we talk about something or, like, you know, we sit down and play on, on, on your drums at Soundcheck and stuff. And, like, I'm just, I'm jazzed on that. Yeah. Just like Me to too. stay excited about it. Yeah, and I'm very happy. I mean, you know, I don't want to admit this, but I probably, I think I'm the oldest out of all you guys, and it's okay. Maybe uh, the oldest out of all of us. Come on. <laughs> no, but uh, I can do math and I know that's wrong. But no, I mean, it's, it's really cool for me because it doesn't matter, you know, like age or where you came from or any know. of that stuff. It's, it's, everybody's got a different thing to offer. And, yeah. you know, uh, Spencer, you're, at least to me, I see a lot of technicality out of you, things that I wish I would have learned because I'm sure Tim would agree. Like oh, the way that we came up playing drums, just listening to people, 
you learn however you learn, but then yeah. not it may not be the right way, or right, it may right. not be the way that a lot of people learn. So it, it's it's cool to see that, and I definitely know that I'll I'll be taking stuff you know away from this tour. Yeah, man. I've already started to. Well, dude, like you've been doing this for a long time, you know. Like mm, I, yeah. you know, I used to go see your band, and I was stoked. I like the the fact that you're that we're doing this right now is a trip. I just have yeah. like I gotta. To well, I, I can I can tell you the same thing. It's a trip in, in the sense that. Ten years ago, we toured to Saves a Day, yeah. and there was a different drummer. And since then, there's been three or four yeah. different drummers. But seeing you play with them, it fits almost better than any of those guys. Thanks, man. And that's serious. And that's, that's not awesome. just you know me saying that. I've heard that from other people, even in yeah. your band as well, which oh, is no. cool. And uh, you know, I think it's really cool to see again the approach to some of these songs. There's songs that are ten years old that yeah. you're playing, totally. and songs that are like only a year or two old. Yeah. And to see that approach is, is really cool. Thanks, man. Tim, how about uh, as far as like the newer stuff that Fireworks that you guys are working on? Mm -hmm. um, I know you mentioned it like very briefly. You see yourself kind of progressing. Um, do you see yourself like adding techniques or, or, you know, maybe even going back and playing your old songs a little different now that you've been on the road? Well, it's funny you say that we're actually sound checking a song from a record today that we just started playing yesterday. And I'm going through it and I'm like, man, I wish I would have had more time to sit down and write this when we were in the studio. Mm -hmm. Like, I, there's so much stuff I would have done differently, especially now. Like, you know, with you and Spencer and Aaron, like these tours we've done, past tours we've done, just you take a little something with every drummer you meet, especially when you geek out, you know, yeah, totally. show each other stuff. And yeah, like I, I feel like this next record we do, I need to like step up my game, so they say. It's good. Good. Like that. You know, one other thing I want to point out that's kind of cool is actually with having both of you guys here. Um, I know a couple days ago, Tim, you hopped up on my drum kit for, yeah. for his, uh, the end of a song and played. And me and Spencer have been talking about the same thing with Spencer yeah. coming up or me coming up for you guys. Totally. Do you feel, I mean, obviously for me, I've done that with other drummers. It's awesome. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah, it can well, be really weird. Yeah. But, uh, you know, is, is that something that, you know, is it is it more fun than it is weird or the other way around? Or? Well, like, you know, like I said, I'm a fan of your band, you know? Like, I, I never thought I would be doing that. Like, just we're hanging you know it's like that's cool. It's all good and I think people see that like you know if you go to a handful of shows and you see how bands interact like they can tell that we're gen genuinely having fun yeah and like that we just want to you know it's just like hey here, come here play this play the end of the song it's yeah. like that's sweet dude. it is fun yeah um and it's not yeah like man it's just cool that's it's not weird it's not like it's just awesome it puts out a really good vibe like for that reason kids will see me like wow like yeah. The headlining bands hanging out with like the support. What? Weird. I didn't think that actually happened. And yeah. actually, I feel like well, kids have a very skewed perception of what goes on. We can we can touch some more on that. Is uh, you guys have been well? I can't really say you guys, but you've been participating in a Descendants cover that happens every yeah. now and then, right? Yeah. So well, you touched on it earlier, Bill Stevenson. Like, how fun is that to be able oh, to kind of un unreal? We for Halloween did an entire Descendants and Black Flag cover set, and like nice. sitting there and learning all his chops. I was like. <clears throat> I'm nailing every single note. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna study this and get every single note. Not do anything differently, just do it exactly like Bill did. After doing something great. like that, do it's you so find good. yourself almost maybe playing a little differently with your I stuff? I, I've definitely adapted some of the cool stuff that he does. I'm like, oh wow, I'm gonna throw that into this song. Okay. I'm gonna throw something like that into this song. Does yeah. it work? Not always. All right, that's I'd, fine. I'd, I'd like to think it does, thing, but you know, but... not always. <clears throat> That's uh -huh. how you find out what works. It's yeah, trial exactly. and error, dude. It's true. And then if it doesn't, you get the stairs from the front of the stage back towards you. And then you laugh it off. And you never do it again. Yeah. But, yep. Yep. And you laugh it off, hopefully. <laughs>